hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tiara and I am back with another video my channel is lifestyle non lifestyle I do beauty videos cooking videos a little bit of home videos so yeah today I'm going to be doing a haul I have a collective haul so I picked up a few things over the last few months that I wanted to share with you guys I have some clothes I have some um, outdoor things and all of that so I wanted to show you guys that so if you're interested in that please keep on watching please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video also you can watch this video in HD so go ahead and go to your settings in YouTube and change it to 1080p all right you guys let's go ahead and jump into this first thing I think I want to start with is some outdoor stuff I picked up a few things from Amazon and home goods I want to decorate my balcony this year so that I can go on there and enjoy it because I didn't get to enjoy it last year so this year I want to do that so first thing I ended up getting up was from Amazon this is like a stool I guess or ottoman you can it's like an inflatable ottoman and I will have it all linked below so you just put air in this piece and this is the cover to it so this is like the print of it and it's this is kind of like the size so I can use this I can either use this as like to put stuff on top of or I can use it to rest my feet when I'm outside so yeah I ended up picking up this and it's inflatable so I can deflate it when I move and stuff it won't take up too much space um, so yeah ended up picking up this and I forget how much this was but I'll be sure to have it linked below and the theme for my balcony is black and white next thing I ended up picking up was this outdoor rug now hopefully this fits my balcony this is a four by six and it's like plastic so perfect for the balcony and I like that it comes in this travel case but this is the print of it it's like FF, so like it looks like a Fendi print. And I got it because it was black and white and it gave me a nice print. Because I want the balcony to be different types of prints. I don't want any of the same prints. I just want it all to be black and white. And I'll probably do a video for my balcony makeover. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. These are seat cushions because right now I have like a small little table and two chairs. And I don't have any cushions on them, so I decided to get some black and white cushions from Amazon. Also got the outdoor rug from Amazon. Here are the things that I got for the balcony from Home Goods. First thing I ended up getting was this pitcher. It's plastic. This was $9.99. And my plan is to, over the summer, I just want to sit out there, chill and relax, have a drink with some lemonade. So I ended up picking up a pitcher and I also got glasses to go with the outdoor glasses. And these are also plastic. These are by the brand Nautica. It comes with a set of four, and these were $7.99. So it's just gonna be like a cute thing to have and to be refreshing, have some fresh lemonade. Next thing I picked up was this tray. Now, I've been looking for a black tray or a white tray to go on the balcony, but this one is, this one was $9.99. My plan is to put this on top of the table, and then I can have my, cups and the lemonade on top of it and then you know have the two handles for the tray which is going to be so cute and I think the silver is going to work well with the black and white theme I did want a black one or a white one so if I do end up finding a black one or a white one I'll take this one back okay so let's go ahead and start with Macy's I went to Macy's a cut like maybe a month or so ago and I picked up a few things from the clearance section so I found these cute shorts. How cute are these? They're so cute. They're like a, they have, they're like an off-white with like maybe a light, light tan. And it let me come close so you can kind of see the detail. They're really, really cute. And they're by this brand called Royalty. I usually never shop at Macy's, but one day I had went in there with my cousin. And she said, you know, she shops there. And she ended up telling me, you know, let's look at the clearance section. Because they had a lot of clearance going on for some reason. And I found a few items. So I found these shorts and I also found them in pink. They had black too, but I didn't, they didn't have black in my size. But they have them in pink as well. So I ended up getting them both. And like I said, they were on clearance. So these were originally $60, $59.50, and they were 40% off. 
so they came to 35.70 and then there was an extra percent off and i ended up paying like 25 dollars for each pair but i thought the pink would be so nice for this season and i do have some pink shoes that'll go really cute with this found this shirt to go i think i'm gonna wear this with the pink ones i could wear it with the pink ones or the white ones but i really i think i'm gonna wear it with the pink ones and i have these pink shoes i got from zara that I'm gonna pair them with. And next I have these shoes. I got these from Zara, like maybe a couple months back. But they're like little kitten heels and then they're in this cute mauve shade. And these were $50. But I like wearing heels, but I don't like them to be super high. I like them to be comfortable, so I like to get the small kitten heels just to give me a nice, elegant look, but still comfortable. So I got these and you know, pointy toe is always in style. I've just been picking up things that I feel as though will reflect the style that I'm trying to, you know, move, maneuver into. And I feel like those shoes will definitely, um, is reflecting that. So I definitely want to, like I said, be a little bit more classier, more my age, but still cute, simple. Let's do Abercrombie and Fitch. So first thing I picked up was this white dress. It is gorgeous. And this dress looks so, so pretty on me. It, it fits my body so nicely and it, it straps up in the back. That's why it keeps falling. So the front is kind of ruffled in the front. The front is kind of ruffled and that is the part that goes over your front area. And it's like a midi dress, so it's not super long, but it looks really, really good on. And then the back laces up in the back. So it like crisscrosses and then the strings you gotta tighten and tie them in the back. And it looks so cute. When I wore it one time, I didn't wear it for that long, but when I did the time that I was wearing it, I was like, oh yes, this is a beautiful dress. So I ended up also getting it in another shade, which is black. So this is the black one and it does the same thing. It laces up in the back and you tie it down at the bottom. Ooh, it still smells like Amber Crumbie and Fitch. Never go wrong with black and white, and these dresses are gonna be perfect for the summer. And I'm just gonna start wearing stuff without having an occasion to wear them to. I'm just gonna start wearing stuff. So this dress was originally $120 each for each dress, but I, each time I bought them, I had a discount. So this, the black one, I got it for $90. Cause I had, it was, I think it was like 20% off or something like that. 20% or 15% off. And then I got the white one. Cause when I signed, when I got the white one, I had signed up for Amber Crombie and Fitch and they had like a $10 off coupon. So I ended up getting $10 off of that one. I also got some jeans from Amber Crombie because I hear that Amber Crombie has really good jeans. So I got the Curve Love and everything. And I ordered them offline because when I went in store, the last time I went in store when I got the black dress, it was like crowded, super crowded. Lines was at the front of the store and there was a line in the actual dressing room. So I was like, let me just go ahead and order offline. I'll guess my size and if anything, I'll just go ahead and return it. But they were having a sale, like a 4th of July sale. So I recently just got the jeans. So... I ended up getting the Curve Love, and this is the 90s Straight Ultra High Rise, and these are like the crisscross. They crisscross in the front. They are so cute on. They fit so nice. Only thing is, I might have to take the waist in a little bit, but they fit the bum really, really nicely. So I love the Curve Love line. So you see how they do that crisscross in the front? I really like that. And they're a nice length. I could have went longer, but these would be really nice for the summer and to wear with boots in the winter and fall. But yeah, this is how they look in the back. And I'll post a picture from the website if I find one with someone wearing them so you can see how they look on. Yeah, so this is the medium wash and it says the 90s straight ultra high wide, ultra high rise, excuse me, I think these are the same ones but yeah and they do have the cross crisscross in the front let me show you that they do have that crisscross in the front and they fit so nicely on here's the back it has a little bit of distressing in the back which I don't really like because I like to wear jeans to work and I don't like to wear distressed jeans to work but I'm still gonna wear these 
but yeah this is the medium wash and this is the light wash and let me show you the difference and then I have one more pair these are the mom jean high rise and they're also in a curve love and this is what these look like usually mom jeans fit me so funny but these fit super nice and like I said a lot of them I still probably have to take the waist in but they fit so good around the bum a lot of jeans that I have like other brands they don't really fit my body right other mom jeans are usually way too tight around my bum and way too big around the waist but then also the waist the front is like way too tight but the I still have a lot of space in the back so I don't know sometimes the mom jean just fits me wrong but these fit really 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 good so I'm glad I looked into the curve love I ended up paying $71.20 for each pair of jeans since I did get them I think it was 20% off if you bought three each pair of jeans was $89 and ended up picking up some Aritzia stuff on sale and you know Aritzia is pretty pricey so yeah I definitely was looking at these pants so when I seen they were on sale, I ended up grabbing them. I got two pair of pants. They're called the Effortless Pants and these are by the brand Wilfred. And these pants retail for $148, which is absurd. But I hear they're really, really good. And from the feel of it, they're really good quality. And I needed some pants for work. So these are the um, Effortless Pants. So I ended up getting these, these are different material from the other pair. I got two pair of effortless pants, but the material is different from both. But this one, the black one is saying that the fabric is from Japan and they are just so good. They're really, really good. And I'm probably gonna get them tailored to fit the length of my leg, but these are really good. They look so good on. They give you this class, you know, and they're like pleated in the front and they just make you look really classy for some reason i don't know why but it makes at least it makes me look really classy i could wear this um with a crop top or i can wear this with a dressy shirt like you can dress it up or dress it down i'm definitely going to be wearing these pants a lot especially for the price that i pay i'm definitely going to get some use out of these but i ended up getting black because black matches everything so this color is i think a terracotta and i really just love this color looks so good definitely gonna be good for the spring and summer now these were on sale for $99 and I was like well let me get them because I like the color they fit I know how they fit because I went into the store to try them on and they just look really 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 good on and this is this material is um, it's like really soft and stretchy um this material is more like a it feels more like a dress pant these do as well but they feel more like I don't know softer Hi y'all, I'm back. I know, different outfit, different day. I basically lost time yesterday. I had to do some other things in the middle of filming. So I didn't get to finish the haul, so I'm gonna finish it today. And I have a few more items left. I know this video is getting a little bit long, but like I said, all these items I have received over time. So that's why it's a lot. I just wanted to share them with you guys. So yeah, next is Target. We're in this bag because uh, Target, the Target I go to, they make you pay for bags. So I bring my own bags to um, the stores. So first thing I ended up picking up was this, just a plain white button up shirt. I got this from the men's section, but a plain button up white shirt goes with any outfit, especially in the summer. You can wear it over a t-shirt open, you can wear it closed, you can button it up halfway, you can button it up all the way, you can wear it with denim, you can wear it with slacks. Like you can wear this a lot. It's not as big as I want it to be. So this one, hopefully it fits. I got this in a men's large. So next items I end up picking up are some like workout clothes. I found this brand at Target. I don't know if this is a new brand or what, but I found these pink pants. Now these things were like pretty hard to find. Now, they have a top to go to, it was like one shoulder top, but I can't find it anywhere. I couldn't find it in a store, it sold out online. But I ended up picking up the pink ones because I don't have any hot pink gym pants. So I ended up picking these up. These were $34 and they're by this brand called Joy Lab. And I saw these on Kyra Amonique's page. 
So I ended up picking them up and they seem like a really, really thick material. They stretch out. I haven't tried these on yet, so hopefully um, they do fit and stretch out enough. I ended up finding the biker shorts just from the same brand, the same material, just a different color. And you know, olive is a really, really nice color. I love an olive shade. So ended up picking up the biker shorts and these were $20. Okay, I, I got another thing from the same brand, but this is the top that I was talking about that they had in pink. Couldn't find the pink one, but they did have this black one. This was the last one in my size. So this was $22. So I'll have everything linked below if it's still on the website, because I know that this stuff sold out pretty fast. All right, next few items are just a bunch of t-shirts. I ended up picking them up because I needed more t-shirts, especially for the summer. So this one is just a plain white shirt. And this is by the brand A New Day, and it was $8. Ended up picking them up just because the basics, you know, basics go with everything. You could dress them up or down, and et cetera, et cetera. Ended up getting this, this color in it too. And they, again, they were $8. Also ended up getting a black one that I already wore. And then I got some tank tops. This gray one is actually from Target, but I didn't get it on this same run to Target. So this tank top was also $8. This is what it looks like. This is the navy blue. And then I have this color, because I don't have anything this color. So I picked this one up. And I got them in two different sizes, because I do like the way the medium fits. It's a little bit more snug on me, so I like that and tanks and then I get got this one in, the, in a large because the large you know gives me a little bit more room but yeah ended up picking up these last thing I ended up picking up from Target were these shoes I needed some like cute sandals so I'm on the hunt for some white ones because I have a lot of lighter outfits that I need to wear like white shoes or a lighter pair of shoes with. So I've been on the hunt for some. I actually seen some like this, but they were literally all white. Even the buckle was white. So I'm thinking about getting those as well. But the only thing is they don't have them in store. I would have to order them offline. So I've been on the hunt looking in different stores to see if I can find some white shoes, but they're pretty hard to find. At least ones that I actually like. So that's been my problem. But these were $24.99. I got some stuff from KKW, the fragrance line. Cause I know she went out of business so she had a sale on all of her fragrances just to get rid of the inventory. And I ended up getting three fragrances. And like I said, this has been over time. I'm not sure if they even still have any fragrances, but if they do, I'll have these linked below. So I ended up getting three. So the first one is KKW Body 3. And I got this one. Remind you, these are all blind buys. But this particular one I ended up getting because of the packaging. So it has a string right here. You have to undo and then open the box. It opens like this, which I thought was pretty cute. And then you have this perfume that's actually shaped like a woman's body. And I think this is so cute. I thought this was so cute. It's gonna be a nice perfume to display. You could display it in your living room or anything like that, or your bedroom or on your vanity. I just thought it was like a nice, cute display. Okay, so this one, this is a soft scent. It smells like a unisex scent. It almost smells like a man could wear this. So the next two fragrances are fragrances she did with her sisters. These are the KKW Fragrance Diamonds line and it is by Courtney, Kim, and Chloe. She did this with her sisters. So this one, the green one is, what are the names? I thought that they had the names on them of like which sister picked out which scent, but it actually has all three of their names on it. I thought that it only had like one of them. And this box definitely is fingerprints, like prone. It's a nice matte, it feels really nice. But this one, this is the one I've been wearing a lot. I love this green one. So again, this is the packaging. And I love the smell of this. It's like, it's like a 
it's a nice scent for every day so i've been really wearing this one lately and the only thing is like, i like this one a lot but i don't know if i'll be able to get it again so i'm gonna try to not wear it all the time all the time so here is the next one in the lighter shade and also has the same thing on the front the bottle is clear and again this is one ounce this one smells like roses or some type of floral something but I wouldn't wear this one every day this one is a little bit more stronger it's almost like a warm, like a smooth scent. That one is more vibrant, I guess is the word to explain it. This one is more like warm, like almost like something you wear in the fall. Out of the three, this one is my favorite scent and this one is my favorite packaging. Okay, so I tried looking for the KKW fragrance website. Every time I try their fragrance website, it takes me to her skin, skin by Kim Kardashian website. So the fragrance website is completely gone. So you can't really get these unless you do like eBay or something like that, or some type of resale site. But this one is diamond and this one is emerald. I just wanted to make that one clear just in case you guys were looking for it or wanted to try it out. And this one is body three. But that's all I have to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And let me know in the comments what are some new items that you picked up recently. What are some new items that you've been loving lately. Yeah, let me know in the comments. All right, y'all. To the next one. Bye, guys.